the path of duty was to go abroad. Amongst many who sought to deter me was one dear old Christian gentleman whose crowning argument always was, the cannibals, you will be eaten by cannibals. At last I replied, Mr. Dixon, you're advanced in years now, and your own prospect is soon to be laid in the grave. There to be eaten by worms, I confess to you, that if I can but live and die serving and honouring the Lord Jesus, it will make no difference to me whether I am eaten by cannibals or by worms. And in the great day my resurrection body will arise as fair as yours in the likeness of our risen Redeemer. The old gentleman, raising his hands in a deprecating attitude, left the room, exclaiming, After that, I have nothing more to say.